Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Chums channel. Um, we're continuing with our series of lightsaber terminology uh, explanation. Um, a lot of new people join the hobby and I want to give you more information about what is what, how does it work and um, how does it help you or not and what you should look for uh, when you make your first lightsaber purchase and whatnot. Now I'm using the Graflex as my base sample a lightsaber because it has most of the bits and pieces that you will hear a lot of. A lot of the terms will come back and they're basically on this lightsaber. So it is super convenient for me to actually use it. Today um, we're going to talk about this thing. Now we did it in the last video, we're talking about the control box. That's just the overall control section. Now we're going to talk about something more specific and that's the clamp cart. That's this thing here. We're going to take it out. Now not all lightsabers have that. There's only um, a few lightsaber designs that I'm familiar with that actually have clamp cards and they all happen to be cannon hilts. Darth Vader's lightsaber uh, has bubble strips. Um, the Graflex in many iterations, this is the ESB version as a clamp card. And let me see if I can slide that thing out there. Uh, but the clamp card is basically, maybe I can't slide it out. On the video you will always see that. Um, yeah, oh, no, it's there. Oh, somebody glued it in. I bought this uh, hilt secondhand, so I I might be in for a surprise. Yeah, I think I'm in for a surprise. Yeah, it's glued in there, guys. I'm sorry. Somebody glued it in with super glue, which is an interesting choice. Um, but normally you won't do that. So this is also a good reason to show you. So this is the clamp card. That's this little part here with the gold, um, yeah, vertical bits here. So what basically this little strip is, this little cart is is nothing more than a piece that came out of a calculator from the 60s or 70s. They just took it out, put it on the lightsaber. That was the bubble strip version for Darth Vader's lightsaber. Um, basically it's a plastic piece with little bubbles on them, like four or five in a row. And those are used as the outlook for the control section of the lightsaber because this was of course just a Graflex uh, light gun for making pictures in the 20s, 30s. They used a, a light bulb on it and it flashed light when they're making a picture to actually light up the environment or the subject. Now to spice it up to make a, a, a movie prop out of it, the movie prop makers use a, a computer bit in this case, uh, like a computer chip like they put a, a strip of a computer strip inside this little slit here, the control box, to give that more uh, of a spacey, futuristic outlook. That's the whole reason. Um, there are a few makers that actually make very accurate clamp cards. Uh, Wanga Wanga is one of them, um, so definitely check them out. Um, this one, I think, is just the default one that came with the um, kit from Coreband. Not the most accurate one, uh, but I mean, it's on there, um, and basically, it, it's it's very it's a very simple uh, 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 method how this works. So it's just a plastic card that slides into the rails here. You slide it in there, and then it clamps in place by this clamp, and that's it. That's it. That's all that holds in place this little piece here. It's all retention. Normally, people don't glue it in. I don't know why they did it on this one, but whatever. Um, so that's another tip. If you're gonna buy second hand, you might have these kind of little weird surprises. Um, in this case, not horrible, but yeah, be aware. Buying second hand, uh, you might save some money, but you might also induce some headaches at times. In this case, it's not a headache; it's a minor gripe. But um, yeah, that is basically the clamp card. And when you specifically want to have an accurate Luke Skywalker Ray lightsaber go or Anakin lightsaber or Darth Vader lightsaber go check out Wonga 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 uh, you can find them on Google and they sell super accurate clam cards and there's a few other companies that also make super accurate clam cards but Wonga Wonga is one of them uh, which I recommend and they basically up level your hilt by like 100 points uh, in terms of accuracy when you replace these default one from 98 sabers or core band and just have a nice clamp card in there. Um, clamp cards are really nice complements to cannon hilts. Um, I don't see them often on um, 
custom lightsabers from the aftermarket, so third-party lightsabers. What I do see is scratch-built lightsabers. Um, people that make their own designs and build the lightsaber themselves, they often um, refer to pieces and bits of Graflex kits, like this one from Corban to make mesh up their own lightsaber design. And um, there you can see quite often a nice clamp card coming back on their design. So clamp cards are important aesthetically, uh, not doing so much for the function of the lightsaber besides making it more accurate if you want to have an accurate copy of a cannon hilt, for example. So. Hopefully this information uh, helped you a bit with uh, your, uh, your quest on what is a clamp card, why does it have to be in a lightsaber and whatnot. Um, hopefully this helped you a bit. Do you still have questions? Leave them in the comments below so I can help you out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.